you make something, when you go through the process, all the steps, and at the end, you have a finished product that you made with your own hands out of your own mind that is your own design. It's a reflection of your soul. My name is Viviana Hollenbeck. I'm Eric's wife, partner, and other half. I'd love to share more with you about how we facilitate healing for youth, veterans, and the general public by teaching traditional skills. Blue Ox started as a logging company, then we became a millworks, then we started working with high school students, then we opened for tours, and then we developed the veterans program. I'm a frontline infantry veteran. I was in some of the heaviest combat in Vietnam. I have tried to do something positive out of the experience. And we were contacted by the veterans and asked if we would start a school for returning vets. And we worked with our local junior college, College of the Redwoods, and we built the Lincoln Hearse, a full replica of the Lincoln Hearse. It's phenomenal. The Blue Ox School for Veterans was created, where veterans learn how to be craftsmen, something some vets say has been life-changing. As I come here, I feel useful. I feel like I belong here. Whereas all the other rest, like past 10 years, I've just been hiding from everything. We have projects that we have proposals for and that we are waiting for funding on. The veterans are there. They're ready to come. We just can't afford to do it for free anymore. My name is uh, Crystal Landry. I'm a police officer with the Rio Del Police Department. I started coming to the Blue Ox in ninth grade. Blue Ox is such an amazing place for kids who might be struggling. You get to be creative. You get to make things you know, with your heart and soul. It's impacted my life a lot. Really awesome program. Probably wouldn't have graduated without. I started uh, Blue Ox around when I was 12 years old. Didn't have the best history at home. My life was rough and I was 13 years old. Eric. Um, taught me back then, just installed a lot of like, work hard, tough it out, and you'll get somewhere. I was working for Danko, I uh, just quit recently because I'm going to come work with Eric again, nice. be a late instructor here, so I'm really excited about that, you know, it's kind of a little circle. And One of the things that Eric probably has the biggest influence on is uh, what I'm willing to give back and not ask nothing for. Whether it be from the beginning or from the middle, from the end, doesn't matter. From the moment you cross that railroad, you know, your family and, and you mean something. I hope that you enjoyed hearing some of the adventures and some of our plans for the future. And I hope that you were inspired to support us. We believe very much in the things that we're doing here. And your support is vital to make it all happen.